y'all, it has just been a tough season, a tough few years. So I'm about to pack for a solo trip. I actually don't know if I've ever been on a solo trip before, so I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm excited about it for multiple reasons, but this one just feels different because it is different. So let's pack because I have packed absolutely nothing. Um, but let's just get the day started. I'm excited. <laughs> So we made it to the treehouse. I'll give y'all a tour in just a little bit, but let me just do a quick spin around. It is absolutely gorgeous, just like beautiful. One thing you're gonna learn about me is that I love being outdoors. I love hiking. I love just like being out in nature. Like I find that God just connects with me whenever I'm outside. So here we are and y'all, let's just, take it all in and it's just me it's just me um so yeah we're here for the next couple of days um it should be a beautiful time a beautiful time so thanks for being here let's go unpack because i bought groceries and y'all it's a mini fridge in there i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to fit in there but we're gonna make it work so let's go
some little snacks so that way I don't have to really go out to get anything. So little sandwiches. And I plan on making a little charcuterie board. So that should be cute. Pepperoni, my favorite. Snacks. Listen, don't sleep on these. These are so freaking good, especially if you like anything that's like sour and you don't want anything that's like super high in sugar. This only has one gram of sugar and no salt added. So this is a great, a great look for those of us who like sweet and sour snacks. Perfect. And I got my kombucha. Mm. I opened that. Or I over shot. So I ended up getting out a bit and I went about three miles up the road to this cute little farm. It's called Mercer Farms and what they're known for is like their fruit picking. So you can pick literally any fruit, apples, uh, bananas, even you can pick strawberries, they even have pepper picking. And I actually wanted to go on their sunflower tour, but because it rained literally all day, um, I wasn't able to do that. But I do plan on coming back and doing that because I just... I just love this type of stuff but it's like an old country store so if you like little knickknacks and pastries and things like that definitely come and check them out it was really cute they were really friendly and they also have a wine tasting and this cute little bar and so I actually went and got some hard cider and when I tell you every single last one of these were so good and my favorite one was called the sneaky jack Later on that night, I ended up taking myself out to dinner. And when I tell you this crab cake was 10 out of 10, and I'm a, I'm a crab cake connoisseur, so I'm a hard judge, but it was really good. The people were friendly and it was just a great time. And so thank you guys so much for spending my birthday and my first solo trip with me. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.